Uh, so there might be some glitches in the buffering. Uh, even Oh, that's a nice doggy. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, at least it's a blue sky today, not an overcast winter day. That's kind of nice. It's sunny. Lucky dime. It's a lucky dime. It's really good. <laughs> right, so we're in Hoboken, New Jersey. And we're about to cross Washington Street. We got it. We're, 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 we're doing it. Okay. Bucks. Kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Mind me, still learning how to use this gimbal. <laughs> We have some buffering again. Challenges with the cell network here. And this is Hudson Street. Some cool, cool old buildings. It's north. Right, we're gonna go back. What's that? Yeah, we got a frat house for the Stevens Institute where we're going to head up to just now. And uh, I think this is Murder Hill. <laughs> it probably is. I think <laughs> historically, <laughs> if you're, uh, you're going to... Uh, it takes the breath out of you. Well, it does that. <laughs> but it... Uh, um... Oh, Lois is watching. Hey, Lois. <laughs> All right. Old Chris with no buffer, she say. <laughs> Fantastic. And Murder Hill when it snows. Yeah. This would be the hill you go down on your, I don't know, your garbage can cover, or your sled or something. Castle Point Terrace, frat houses. Some of them were originally built for captains of industry. Some beautiful more homes. All right, I'm gonna keep walking. Oh, gimbal. So this is 9th Street we've been walking up. Oh, man. And this is the gate. And over here, I have a fantastic view of Manhattan, New York City, Hudson River, clear day, George Washington Bridge. Not today. Not clear today. <laughs> All right. How long do you think this walkway has been here? Two years now? Yeah, about two years, yeah. Yeah, we used to walk in the street on campus. Mm. And they put this walkway in. Took all the nice lawn away. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <sighs> it used to ski 
down here. Well, the sledding was really good on this little hill. And I don't think it's as good now that the walkway's here, right? Nope. More Not as good. fantastic Manhattan views. Right here is Hoxie House. This is the home of the uh, university president. Also appears at the end of the movie The Professional. Natalie Portman knocks on the door. So there you go. Hoboken, Hollywood. What? <laughs> More about that later. <laughs> All right. Alexander House, right? Yeah. Also the students. Um, Student services for now. Civil Submission Center. More fantastic river action. And uh, that is the. Uh, the, the admission building. Luster Heltz. Yep. Very cool. <sighs> Little peak west. Wesley J. Howe Center. This is a, I think a 1961 international style building. It was originally the low. This here was originally the location of Stevens Castle, knocked down in the late 50s. Now it's the administration building. Now it's the admin building. All right, and this is where I leave you. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk down the hill now. Come on. And it's the library. Linda, Ted, and Leah work in the library. Hello, everyone. This is the New student services building and dorms. It's tall. Let's see. Yep. Tall buildings. Uh, on campus, they knocked down um, Jacobus and another one, Davis, to put those guys up. They'll be opening soon. This stealth statue. Uh, it's apparently interesting because it's, well, let's take a cue from my friend Chantal and take a picture of the, of the, so it's Anna Hyatt Huntington sculpt and the torchbearer. Um, I know that it was, uh, the victim of some pranks over the years once it was up and running, but, uh. It also, uh, I think it has a unique characteristic as being one of the largest, or for a while was one of the largest, uh, aluminum cast sculptures. This is stuff that I have in my brain. <laughs> I'm going to get back on the walkway because, you know, it's polite. Um, Mr. Polite. All right. Again, this is kind of a side entrance. Here's a American spread wing eagle wall sculpt. What do they call it? Um, painter sculptor muralist Pierre Bordel, donated by the Taylors installation. So I guess that uh, that happened in '95. Let's take a look at it again. Right on. Okay. It's funny this. It's kind of.
kind of a colonnade here. The um, athletic center here on Stevens campus. Um, still some fencing up for the construction. Stuff in my brain and I'm grasping for the Schaefer, Schaefer Athletic Center, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, there's a gym in there. There's a pool in there. It's fantastic. Uh, basketball arena, etc. Up here is Walker Gym. It's oval. I love it. It's been around for a long time and um, it originally had a uh, pool in the basement to the side. And that's where Stevens did a lot of its original naval engineering tests. I remember seeing that pool. I moved here in 82. And uh, I remember seeing that pool through a window. And it's since been covered up. And uh, that room is a gym, I believe, for like varsity or something. Over here got the uh, athletic field uh, where the you know where all the, the soccer takes place don't really have a football team do not have a football team here but field hockey soccer pointing into the sun never awesome but something to do <laughs> just because I'm walking this way to get the front of Walker because it's, you know, it's pretty cool. It's, it's ovalness. Um, yeah. This, actually, this, this lawn here, I remember for a long time was very, just a plot of grass. And it was not very attractive, but then the team here at Stevens decided to uh, landscape it and put some benches on it and stuff. And it's, a good, it's a good effort it's because people use it now as a, a place to hang. I have hung there. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to go. Where am I going to go? So up here we see a, a piece of the gatehouse, the 6th Street gatehouse. Um, there's usually a larger gate that spans this road, the, the road here, Whitpen. Well, this, you know, this walkway here is Whitpen Path. Um, I actually put a lot of this stuff on Google Maps like 99 years ago. Um, but this gateway was removed and Pains, supposedly painstakingly uh, uh, indexed so that it could be replaced um, because of uh, the construction of those tall buildings. They needed access for the trucks and the, the, uh, the gate was just not, not really going to help that out. So at least there's a turret <laughs> and uh, I think it might still be police headquarters uh, back there underneath that mansard roof. Let's head out onto the Babio Center Piazza or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they call this. Lovely plaza area. Hazy morning shooting into the sun. All right. Well, not awesome for that, I guess. Maybe. Hard for me to tell. But... Uh, I'm gonna walk over to the the edge. McLean building, the atrium at the Babio Center. It's kind of a nice view place to hang out. They have a Stevens has events there. So here we have um, Sinatra Drive, formerly known as River Road, the Griffiths. Um, uh, you know, the, it's kind of like the uh, facilities building for the campus. It's 
see. I'm trying to work the gimbal here. And we have Sinatra Park and the soccer field for Sinatra Park. Ah, shooting into the sun again. Not, not the best. It's one of my favorite things. The 5th Street uh, ramp and wall up to... Uh, yeah, I, I really like that old-fashioned wall and road that's over there. You know, some people saying let's straighten it out get rid of that road but I am not a fan of that idea come on it's a cool little thingamajig and it's not causing anybody any trouble um, there's a stairway over here between Babio and McLean and I'm gonna take it <laughs> Because, you know, that's what happens. Well, I've recently, my, uh, my job at the Hoboken Historical Museum, I've scanned some glass plate negatives um, and that were, uh, some of them were taken from the porch of the home that was like right here. Um, so I, I look forward to indexing and uh, getting some of those scans online and viewable. They're really pretty cool. I also need to talk to Leah at the, the archivist at Stevens about these buildings just to see if there's a, some good names for them. These homes that were here in this location for a long time. All right. Street, as this would be called. I'd like this to be a, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. The Dutch word. I feel like this should be a car accessible plaza. McLean Hall, look at them, they fixed that up, I think. It looks really good. Uh, the, the entrance with the um, overhang, bike locks. I mean, these, they put these signs up because the um, these uh, what are they electrical uh, units are just not in the best place. All right, I'm over here in the in the shade. Didn't even talk about the Burchard building, but here this is the what they call the long time it was the a building i guess the admin building uh, it was considered the edward a stevens building so a lot of people call it eas and oh you know famous architect I, the trinity church guy from new york city the name is not on the tip of my tongue um, one thing I remember that uh, since I've been here in since 82 was that uh, they put the spire on it <laughs> since then. <laughs> it was a long time. It, uh, it was spireless. So there's that. And uh, there's the, you know, someday I'll take a walk down there and have the little league field of a memorial to Sergeant William Feskin. Um, Vietnam War casualty homeboy from Hoboken. We're now in Stevens Park, Hudson Square Park. Um, and there's our little league field. That great little league field, man. You like play and you're looking at the Hudson. Empire State Building's there downtown really really cool where am I now? 
I'm at 20 minutes. No. Up here is River Street. This was uh, on the right hand side was the, uh, the site of some, some significant late 60s, early 70s urban renewal. Um, River Street was filled with bar, you know, kind of four story townhouses that had bars and flop houses or SROs above them. And uh, it was decided that it was, we were going to let's build, bulldoze them and put up these lovely um, uh, affordable housing apartments. And, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, was it really, it was probably really good for Hoboken in the long run. Might have been nicer to have those four-story buildings. I don't like these. With bars and restaurants in Hoboken. All right, I'm going to I'm going to walk up Hudson Street and kind of head home. I'm not going to walk on Washington Street this time. I know people like shops, but uh, I was just there last week. So I'm going to do I'm going to do this today. I recently those glass plate negatives that I mentioned earlier. There was a photo of the home that used to be on the right-hand side here of this mid-century school. Beautiful Victorian home with what looked like a greenhouse in the back. And uh, might have been the Knights of Columbus. Not completely sure. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting. And, and <laughs> I'll also say, being a fan of mid-century stuff, I like this building. I just know that because of that, the, the technology of the times, it's sad reality that air conditioners had to be popped into every window or door possible because the HVAC was so, uh, I don't know, is primitive the word <laughs> compared to now? Hey, you know what? I'm going to walk up Court Street. Court Street. Everybody loves Court Street. It's not icy today, so I'll do it. Last time I was in this area, I love this place. Um, last time I was in this area, I didn't want to go on Court Street because it was too icy. So let's see what happens. Court Street. My friend Ellen Stewart recently discovered that its original name was The Alley or Pig Alley. Of course, you know, Pig Alley being the more entertaining name. Um, I guess it was kind of gross. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty great. Garages and carriage houses and you know, people wanting to knocking things down and putting them back. I see garages that might have been built in the 20s. It's also things that were you know, uh, sided in the 50s or 60s. This place is a fun building, this green one. The nice plants out front. Here is the 
restaurant, Court Street. Again, when I was moved here in 82, it was a one-story building. And I just don't remember if they, I think they knocked it down and built this four-story thing. I don't think they built on top of it. Here's the Skyway at Stevens on 6th. A little brief look at Washington Street, but we're going to stay on Court Street. There was some study done to see what they could do about maintaining, taking care of Court Street recently. I do not remember what the results were. I think it was not great. Um, that's a fancy, two fancy doors there for a garage gatehouse, a carriage house, forgive me. It's the back of the Brutalist Haven Savings Bank. This actually was built, this back area was built in the 80s, because I remember when it wasn't here. Um, there's parking. More garage action here on Court Street. This is kind of a nice one. 626 looking good. Looking pretty good too. So, uh, no, that's, uh, I think that's going to be it for my stroll this morning. And uh, come out here on 7th. And there's All Saints Episcopal. All right, everybody, thank you so much.